Good afternoon, Forex Blade members. I hope everybody enjoyed an amazing trading week last week. Uh, last week we closed in three thousand dollars in profit in the MAM service that we offer. Uh, you guys can see it's total of sixteen. Deposit was fourteen, and uh, this is the custom period. So I have a custom period from five, say five eleven to now. So yeah, so 2,500. Uh, but so I'm here to actually break down a market for you guys that I absolutely love. Um, I'm going to do a different approach to this market breakdown. What's going on is that I'll be breaking down the usual three, right? Updating you on what happened from the last market breakdown and actually taking on uh, five or, you know, four extra pairs that were requested from you guys. Uh, but yeah, let's just start off, honestly. So <clears throat> going on to your USD, if you would have took this trade from the market breakdown from last time, you would have uh, banked in on a quick 22 profits before any uh, pullback. Actually, in fact, there was no pullback. Uh, but you guys can kind of notice I cleared my charts up a little bit for the simple fact that I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how I break down the charts. Um, exactly in the next four pairs that I'm going to be breaking down. Um, so guys, I actually surprised I didn't catch this trend line right here. Okay, so we're going to actually keep that trend line going. <clears throat> you guys can kind of see there was an inner trade uh, trend line right here that once these broke it, it started getting lower. Uh, however, with how your USD is acting now, this is on the four hour. I want to go ahead and hop into the monthly just to see where we're at in the bigger picture. Uh, but you guys kind of see price, you know, reached the 200 EMA and it came down to this level. Uh, right now, there's a lot of so I can actually probably extend this zone right here. You got to kind of see right here back in April 15. Uh, November, March, 15, 16, there was a lot of um, struggle breaking this price every time we touched it, you know, it came down, but we're back to that price. So uh, going into the weekly, we're at that price level. Okay, this is this is the price level right here. We're at that price level. Uh, don't worry about this is kind of just a drop area just in case that price ever gets you know reached it would be probably the next logical uh you know location where your usd would go to however and this is what separates you know the experts in trading versus the ones that are just in it uh you know following people's signals or you know the people that just follow the hype okay so it, you have to explain what is going on uh, you guys kind of see back in November 2018, the zone was tapped and then it, you know, immediately went up to the 200 EMA and then um, the zone was also tapped again and again, but every time it was creating lower uh, highs and you guys kind of see that that trend line actually extends even further than I thought. Yep. Wow, look at that. Okay. <clears throat> and every time what happens is it comes down, makes this, breaks it, goes down. But every time, it's actually getting steeper. Uh, so you guys kind of see it's getting less and less of, you know, just fast burst movements. It's just, you know, you see, do you guys see that pattern? So what I see happening here, and this is going to pretty much blow your mind, uh, is the fact that if you guys know how to use Fibonacci retracements, this will help you in the long term. Okay. Um, but so let me let me go to a previous one so it makes more sense. OK, 
okay? So how Fibonacci's work is, you know, from the one to the zero, I have the 61, 78. So would you just look at this 61 getting tapped precisely, right? So how he got tapped is one, two, and three times after the zero, okay? Just remember that. So if we go to the next drop, one, two, three times to the 61. But guys, once the 61 is hit, this continues, this will continue to rise. Okay, 61 is very respected. Um, but so actually, let me move this zone. I think the zone's supposed to be up here a little bit. Yeah, so, you know, having trouble in that zone area. But let me go into the four hour, guys. Uh, just to show you. It kind of looks a little bit more clear now uh, where we're heading. Um, so this honestly could be coming down to this level first. Uh, you guys kind of see there's a inner trade uh, zone right here. I'm going to call this one green. Okay, so, and then, but, so price seems to be heading in that area. But what I want you to notice is that there's a wick here and there's a wick here. Uh, whenever there's wicks, that means price doesn't like hanging around in that area. And uh, one special secret that I've learned is that on Fridays, uh, the market loves, loves, loves to do a fake move. Um, just, you know, to kind of get everyone... It, it likes to intimidate everyone. It likes to make sure that everyone is not on the same page that they're at. So by the end of the day, on Friday, they like to do some sort of wrong move to, to make people believe that the whole week is going to end like that. Um, and it makes it seem like the next week is going to follow that. So you guys got to keep that always in mind. Um, but so let me get rid of this Fibonacci and... Let's make it match this scenario. So you guys kind of see 61 uh, tapped. You know, if you would have drew this from A to B, you know, you would have known right here to sell and right here to sell. And guess what? We did that. We did that. Uh, so the next level would be then to switch it and see where we would be going or where we're at. Okay. So you can guys kind of see the 71 was tapped a few times uh, and had trouble breaking it, but it broke it. Uh, so what I see happening, guys, here is I'm actually in a buy already at 1.1173. And let me explain to you guys exactly why I'm in this buy. And it's for the simple fact that I see price, because it already wicked in this area. So I see price maybe coming down here. Uh, you know, faking everybody out to believe that it's going to make a whole new low because it just seems too obvious that it would be making a whole new low. Uh, but so my first take profit is at 1.1200. Okay, so there's a reason why that is, right? Maybe the arrow shouldn't be that steep. Maybe it'll go something like that. Uh, for the simple fact that, guys, 61 Fibonacci has to be touched. Uh, maybe it'll come down or it'll just blow past it. But I'm not surprised that it, you know, uh, matches this trend line, okay? Um, so maybe something that could happen is it'll come down <clears throat> and do another climb up. Maybe this time it'll be a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, guys less steep than the other ones because it seems to be the pattern for your USD. So I do see this coming down to this level and then rising. Um, in that case is when we're going to figure out what's going on. I, this could potentially go higher to the 1.123 area, to the zone area right here, before maybe dropping down even further. 
um, or this could potentially just go up here, touch the 61, and then just crash from that point on. But this is what I see happening. I've seen this many times, so I definitely see this happening. Um, it kind of seems to be in a consolidation area too, like if you think of it on the bigger picture, it's just coming down, coming up in that area. But, so that's your USD guys. Uh, let's go on to Euro JPY. Uh, for Euro JPY, right from the start, you guys kind of see this trade over here. Um, and we closed in profit for that trade. Called it out last time. Told you it was gonna fall and that's exactly what happened. Uh, even though we got out in 25 pips, if you would have held, uh, you would have gotten maybe at the low or maybe just down here, you would have gotten a nice 90 to 100 pip trade. Okay, guys, I, I don't do the signals for a reason. I literally, you know, show you what I see. So maybe you can guys can kind of see it the same way that I do and trade the same way that I do. That way you're profitable. Uh, but so... Let's just go on to the weekly to start, kind of see how, what we're doing. So right here, you guys kind of see since already in January 2018, we've just been dropping in the long term. Uh, it dropped the whole way back here in December. I'm sure you guys remember that crash. Uh, but price, you know, kept pretty solid above this zone. Um, couple, touched it a couple of times, but then went up again. And then it actually broke through it and there's a candle underneath. Uh, so this tells me a few things, right? The candle was made on a Friday below that, right? It consolidated on a daily just in this area right below the zone. So what this tells me is uh, price is trying to make its day, uh, price lower, but it's not cooperating. It's not, it doesn't like this area. Cause if it would have went through it right away, then that means it's, you know, it wanted this area, but those, so those three candles over here are meant to confuse you. Okay, they're meant to literally confuse you. you there's three wicks, uh, people call it dojis, whatever you want to call it, but they're meant to confuse you, right? So what do you do? Bring out your handy dandy Fibonacci. Right, if you do wick to wick, uh, maybe, maybe, hold on, let me switch this for you guys. Maybe it'll make more sense this way. Yep, here we go. So you guys kind of see already that it touched the 61 a couple times. One, two, three, four, five times, six times before it broke through it. Once it broke through it, it went to the next level and now it's consolidating in this area. Uh, so if I bring the Fibonacci back to this wick, there's a reason there's a wick over there. That means price could not surpass that level, okay? And look at this beautiful trade, guys. It's literally used the 61 as support. That's crucial, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know anything else. That's what it comes down to trading. Look how precise that close is, okay? Look, one, two, three taps off this trend line. Guys, I see this just flying, literally. Um, it, you know, it, it couldn't come back to the zone. It's, you know, it has to respect the 61. There's just no way it doesn't, especially on the daily. And how seeing how far price is from 200 EMA, Guys, this is a clear buy for me. Um, so I have my entry was actually around 122.67. Uh, so just a little bit where price, uh, below price right now. Um, so what could happen, and guys, I don't even, I can't even say that it might even touch this uh, trend line again. So it, it, it could, it really could, but I definitely see this at least coming up back to the zone. So my first take profit is at 123.0. Um, and the reason being is that there's a lot of wicks in this area you guys can kind of see. Um, but let me find, let me pull out the Fibonacci on this right here. Yeah, there's, there's just 
it, it lines up with the 78. The zone area is just perfect. Uh, so I'm actually already in this buy. So first take profit would be around this. Uh, if you you know want to have a stop loss, you could. You might want to keep your stop losses a little wide, maybe just below this. This could potentially come down, spike, and then continue rising up. Uh, but also, I have my second take profit, which is at 123.40. And, you know, it's just the previous high, really. Uh, nothing too special. Um, but that's, that's, the, that's the trade I'm in for Euro JPY. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see that going to the 200 EMA. So it's probably going to meet up with it. But uh, did I add a buy position on this chart? Okay, I did not. I just kind of drew up with it. So I was already in this trade at 1.1173. So I'm, I am in drawdown. But the reason being is because it was at the 76 is where I uh, took my trade. There's a lot of pressure on this. I do believe this is a stop hunt. Uh, so you could, you know, have a stop loss. But I recommend keeping it wide. However, you know, first take profit is this. And second take profit is 1.1228 area. Um, but yeah, so we're going to keep it like this. Um, just, just know, guys, I'm not a single uh, signal provider. Excuse me. Um, but I just like to show what everyone, what I see. So going on to Euro JBP, uh, looking at the monthly, you know, just, just a quick glance to see where we're at in the price guys. Look at this. Look at just here. Let me go on the weekly. Maybe, maybe it'll make more sense, but this is a really, you know, big high from the past while. Uh, you know, so when price is up here, first tap, second tap, and this is pretty much the third tap. Um, it's just, it's just very clear. So let me get this. And, uh, let's send this to back. So you guys kind of see the wicks. Um, we're going to copy that one. Do it again. You guys right here in this area. Maybe this, this one could be a little, a little fatter. Just like that. I'm going to send it to back. And then one more right here. Those are the three wicks that price literally just could not go past uh, and every time it made a lower high so what this tells me is because this is so clear to me it's ridiculous um, but let me explain to you what exactly I'm seeing um, so if you go on a daily there's a reason why that Fibonacci is right there and if you go on a daily this is the previous high and this is the low it's just simple as that and price is at the 78 level okay now, watch me move this back to the actual high. This is, uh, you know, it's been since December on a daily chart. This is, it has to be, it has to be respected. There's no other option. The Fibonacci has always um, proven itself. Um, but exactly what I see is immediately, the first thing I see is the 61 has been respected. Okay. So what this tells me is 61 will get respected again. Um, however, look at this. I don't like to draw horizontal rays, but this one just wasn't a zone. It was just, you know, price just didn't like being, you know, in that area. It's either up on it as support or underneath of it as resistance. Uh, and right now, price is at it. Right now, 200 EMA is right there. Uh, right now, there's also another previous high right above it. So on the longer term, like I said, let me go back to the um, weekly. I don't want to go monthly. That's kind of too broad. 
but I see one, two, three. This could be, there could be a potential fourth rise up to this area before just crashing down. I understand it's, a, it's on the 200 EMA. Um, it, you know, it respected the 200 EMA, but now it's time to go down. Um, but so for Euro JBP, now let's hop into, you know, the four hour, kind of see where we're at. And immediately I see just a very, very steep incline. Okay. So what this tells me is this is going to be a very steep decline. Um, nothing in life ever just goes up. Everything must come down. So this honestly could just potentially rise up to the 61 as confirmation and just blow past all of this. Blow past the zone. Come down to this uh, trend line. Maybe go up a little bit, but then come down further. Uh, let me let me go out. Maybe you guys will see which Fibonacci was that one. I'm pretty sure it's a 60. Yep, it's a 61. Uh, so I do see this possibly going to the 61 following uh, the other Euro pairs, how they kind of acted. However, this I think this is just ridiculous. Um, I think price just might mess around and just consolidate for a little bit. Let the other pairs catch up and then continue to drop. So for Euro JBP, uh, I'm actually in a trade, in a sell trade instead of a buy trade like the other ones um, at 0 0.8770. So let me get this. Short position point eight 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 seven seven zero. Oh, okay, that's exactly where price is uh, at right now. My first take profit is point eight six nine five. You guys kind of see there was a previous uh, double taps in there, triple taps. So you you know I just want to stay you know secure the profits on that one and then my second take profit was 0 0.8665 uh, and that would where that lands is right here just below this little consolidating area and on the trend line uh but yeah that's euro jbp i uh, hope you guys kind of see that clearer now and let's hop into the new charts the ones that you wanted me to break down um, I already have them up. I did not mark them on purpose. I want you guys to actually see what, how exactly do I mark these down? It doesn't take long to the trained eye, but I'm going to show you how it's done. So immediately, guys, I look at the monthly. First thing I do is I go to the drawing and draw zones. Okay. There's a clear zone over here. I'm going to copy that. This one is a little thinner. Okay. Copy that. Right underneath right here. And another one right here. Actually, and one last one, it would be right here. I see it. So those are the zones that I immediately see. Another thing I see is this very steep incline right here. That's actually been tested as uh, resistance as well. So that's, that's a really good sign. Another trend line I see is right here immediately. And let's see if this one is valid. Yep, this one is valid right here. Okay, and immediately I can see, I already see there's a wedge, a wedge getting created. Um, now, go to the weekly, hop into what's going on around this area now, right? Um, can't really say too much about it as soon as, you know, it's been respecting everything that I've drew up so far. The zones have been respected. The trend lines have been respected. The EMAs have been respected. Uh, everything that I have drilling, drawn up right now um, is respected. So 
Price is simply, I, I just kind of ignore everything behind this. Price is literally simply right in this area uh, between these two wedges. So what usually happens in a wedge, of course, and um, is just literally consolidating between the wedge. Oh, that one kind of slipped on me, so we're going to delete that one. But consolidating between the wedge, just like that on the weekly. Um, now, I already kind of see where price is going, but let me go to the daily before I go to the one hour or the, the four hour. Yep, just respect to the trend line. Uh, it seems to be making, so we're gonna actually change this color to maybe red. This is kind of a more uh, accurate trend line in a, in a trade, so it's probably not, yep. Oh, well actually. Yeah, so it goes kind of like that. Um, immediately, what I'm going to do is, look, there's one, two, and three rises. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the Fibonacci from this very beginning and click on it from the top to this bottom. Uh, C61, respected, one, two, three, four, didn't reach it again. Cool. Come back down here. This is actually a little bit more accurate. Uh, you know, price... Did come to this level, bounced on it, came, used it as support, used it as support again, used it as resistance many times, and then again, and then again. So I already love this Fibonacci one right here from body to body, uh, but I'm going to bring it closer to see what we can do, because I already kind of see this is a, just a sell trend, but let me confirm it. Um, 61 is respected again and again and again, and price is near that 78 area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put price right here and right here. There's a reason why I have the negative 61. That tells me where would it go if it broke it. So immediately, guys, I, I know exactly where this is going. Uh, 76 or 78 Fibonacci is right here, just used as resistance as well with this trend line. And the 61 is down here. So I literally see this coming down, period. Uh, I'm going to put my stop loss a little bit above this high. And the first take profit would be this low. And then your second take profit would probably be at the negative 68, I mean 61. However, I do see a lot of resistance right here as a support. We gotta change that color to maybe light blue. Uh, so yeah, that's that's my trade opinion on that. I you know if anything, it might come up to this trend line uh, just to just a wick like previous ones, but this definitely is going to be coming down. So that you know you guys kind of see, I don't trade this. Um, so uh, there's a lot of pips right here. I'm seeing you know. Seven what seven thousand or one thousand four hundred five hundred pips, uh, and then you're risking seven hundred and fifty pips. So this could potentially be a swing trade. Uh, I don't know how you guys uh, trade this pair that much. I don't trade pairs like that that much, but this definitely seems to be a downtrend after this rise. Um, but yeah, so let's go on to the next one you guys want me to cover, and that is gold. Okay, so on a daily, I already, I already actually mocked this up a while ago, so, and everything is still respected to this day. Even this trend line right here, guys, uh, where price, you know, one, two, one, two, and again, is testing it. Uh, this seems to be a very, very clear trade to me, but let's pull out the Fibonacci. Okay, see if this tells us anything. Mm, nothing too crazy. Uh, you guys kind of see a 61 is respected right here, right here, right here. So let's switch it. See if that tells us something. And would you look at that? 61 right here is respected many times, respected again right here, again and again, and just broke through it. Used it as resistance just recently and it broke through it again okay i already see where this is going 
we're gonna move that Fibonacci to this next low right here and let's do wick to wick we could probably even do it down here as well uh, just because this is a huge part down here but um I'm going to put actually the Fibonacci right here for the simple fact that it's been respected in March many times, many times, many times. And there's no coincidence that the 61 aligns exactly with this zone and the 78 aligns with this zone. Uh, right now, price seems to be bouncing on the 200 EMA. However, it bounced one, two, three, many times, a couple of days in a row. Uh, and it seems to be that it's doing this, uh, you know, short trend now what i see happening is if this trend line gets broken this is going to be coming down to this zone or the negative 61 fibonacci that's at 125.52 okay however this could also potentially so let me go to the four hour this potentially could just respect that zone like it did before. I mean, this trend line, and you know, this this is a clear stop hunt. Um, but it's come come up again. This literally come up again. Maybe consolidate a little bit in this, uh, you know, wedge. Maybe a fake move and then a huge drop. So if you like to swing trade this, you could enter in a sell. Now you really could. Um, however, you know, like I said, market always does a fake move on Friday. Um, so this could also be a potential fake move for a quick upside uh, target and then a drop down to the zone. So what I'm going to do is since I actually don't trade gold, uh, I'm just going to place my opinion on it. Um, put the stop loss right above right here but then put this take profit down to this zone. Okay, so you're looking at risking 700 pips and making 1,300 pips. Two more, JBP. Uh, now this one, I also did not mark up for the purpose of me marking it up in front of you guys. Uh, so immediately I go on the monthly and try to see what I can fine okay huge right here it's all-time highs so i like to go to the all-time highs and then see if there's an all-time lows okay immediately from there i'll start seeing if there's any gaps oh i'm gonna leave that one right there <laughs> it landed perfectly where there's a gap and this one right here, so it's a thick one right here like that. And then I see one more, that's it, okay? That's just on the monthly. It's just so just in case if price ever comes over here in the next, you know, 10 years. Um, and it looks like to be, you know, that looks to be what's happening. And guys, I just wanna show you that the Fibonacci works in every time period. So let me just bring it down to all time lows. Look at that. Look at that, 61. Look at the 61. Jeez. Um, and if I bring it to maybe this, you know, this drop right here, that's just ridiculous. I did not see, you know, the Fibonacci before this. This is literally my first time marking up JBP USD on TradingView. And 61 and 78 are precise to the exact zone that I drew just a few seconds ago. Um, so, yeah, let me just delete that for now. Uh, and on the monthly, that's that's all what that's all I'm seeing. Uh, maybe there's a trend line right here, like that. Maybe that will get broken, and maybe there's we'll see. But on the weekly, nothing crazy. Uh, on the weekly, I don't like to go too far back. So I do see this high and I do see this low to the wick, wick to wick. And you already see the 78 and 61 
have been respected. Uh, now, let me switch it. This is actually a really long market breakdown, and uh, it's exactly what I planned for. Um, I planned for me to break it down and give you as much information as possible. 61 right here bounced on it, bounced on it again before it went down to the 78. Um, I also see a broken trend line over here. As soon as that was broken, the EMAs crossed over. Okay, that's just something to note. Um, 10 wick or potential um, trend line could be right here until broken. So right now it still haven't been broken. Um, so what I'm going to do next is grab this Fibonacci and see if the negative numbers can tell us something. So price is just respecting the 61 between between the 61 and 78. You guys kind of see right here for like the past pretty much this whole entire year, just consolidating in this area. However, uh, there have been uh, lower highs since November 2017. So every time, you know, it's been crashing down. However, in the long term, it just seems to be respecting this trend line, uh, you know, making higher lows every single time. Got to keep in mind though, this was at the 200 EMA, so it dropped, you know, it's getting further away from 200 EMA, which is what happens after it touches the 200 EMA. Now, on a daily, I see um, immediately the fact that there is a huge weekly drop, just consistently dropping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Fib out, put it down here. 61 is respected over here. Um, and then let's flip it. See when something, when you, when you, when the Fibonacci, you look at it and it doesn't tell you something, then you got to switch it. You got to look at, okay, like where it could be where I should put it. And um, right here seems to be more accurate. You guys kind of see it's had trouble trying to break the 61 area and absolutely just dumped. Um, so right now it's coming to this trend line. So on a daily perspective, this clearly looks like it's going to be doing something like this. Okay. Maybe push that down a little bit, actually. So I'm gonna drag it down a little bit. So coming down to this zone and uh, potentially retesting this trend line, or I mean this EMA. So actually, let me go and 